building a new printer and well there are lots of decisions to make and now I, I have one decision and it's Bontek Triangle Labs Bontek Triangle Labs they both have big uh, gears or what you call it it's triangle lab big gear light Bontek large X LGX so it's large gear on both of them how do they compare if we just take them apart and open up see that Bontek has a rather nice tensioning mechanism where you have two options for tensioning a lot, not so much and nothing Triangle Lab has the classic with the spring and uh, There is a little bit more screws here to getting it apart. most obvious thing we can see here is that uh, the triangle lab has bigger gears so let's see if we can get one of the Bontek gears out like that to measure it seventeen and a half and the bomb tech no the triangle labs it's uh, nineteen and a half For the triangle labs, there is uh, friction bearings. And for the Bontek, there is friction bearing at the gear part and uh, roller bearings at the, the grabby part. Here we can see how the mechanism works, where you have the three distinct, distinct positions, and the both both of the wheels are moving in and out when you do that, not like the standard way, only move one. Another difference here is the motor and for the triangle labs you have two options. You can either get a similar one as uh, Bontek has, 
from LDO, or you can get the Moon's motor. In theory, the, the Moon's should be a little bit more power in it. But does it matter? Other differences is uh, here where you put in the filament, where Bontech has a possibility to fast to have a reverse Bowden or at least a small part, while Triangle Labs only have a indent where you can sort of hope that PKFE tube will stay at. So let's put them together again. Or is there anything else? Yeah, the gearing. We have Bontek gearing in POM with a friction bearing. And the Triangle Labs is in metal, some metal. It's not magnetic. And there is bearings on each side. There are a lot of different design choices here. Triangle Lab has three different screws plus this classic tensioning screw. There is a axle here as well. So you don't screw anything into the lever. And here you have it. one, two, three, four, five positions. Or you have, well, you have two positions to mount it. Outlet. The Triangle Lab has a possibility for a Bowden connector and don't take don't. So you have to screw in some brackety thing here to gain a Bowden mount. And weight-wise, one hundred thirty grams for the Bontek, and one hundred 
45-ish for triangle labs. So, a quick teardown and uh, which extruder should I use? Please comment down below and uh, I haven't paid for these extruders so uh, yeah have that in mind bye